hang up. No, 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 you're on now. You're on. You're on now. Right now. Honey, you're on now. Hi, everybody. It's me, the Nitty Gritty Yard Girl. <laughs> what are you Whoopsie. doing? <laughs> <laughs> We're, okay. Hey, everybody. It's me, the Nitty Gritty Yard Girl. It's Monday night, and this is Twisted Stitches. How are you all? <laughs> it's, uh, you know what it's like here. All of a sudden, Paul looks up and says, Oh, no, you didn't close that door. And I said, oh, no, I didn't put on lipstick. But guess what? We're ready for you. And that's all that counts. So welcome to uh, Twisted Stitches. It's another fabulous Monday night. And we're so excited that you're here with us. Um, we have a special guest with us tonight. But before we get started and introduce Iris, Paul, do we have any folks joining us uh, like um, right oh. on the dot of 7 a.m., uh, um. 7 p.m.? Andrea Whitmore says yeah. hi. Hi. To which I reply, hey, buddy. <laughs> Jillian Goldrick says hello. Kelly Kohlhofer made it. Good evening. And our friend Darren Showers from the Cape. Hello from sunny Cape Cod. Yay, yay. Anna Munford, hello, friends. All right. All right. Well, we are good. Um, I'm sure we're going to have more people joining us because this is a very, very exciting night. Um, those of you who have been with us joining us for a while have already met Iris Schreier. Um, and for some of you, this is the first time you'll have the opportunity to meet her. And I'm so glad that Iris is with us tonight. Uh, you know how much we talk about uh, Merino Cloud and Art Yarns and the lovely Silken Sequins. And now that you know, we have, uh, we also carry the mohairs. So we're very, very exciting to be expanding our offerings of Art Yarns here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. And I'm so excited with Iris's new project and the new yarn set, the new Merino Cloud color set she's come up with, the neon splash colors, so or neon and neon splash colors. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome Iris Schreier to the show. Hey, Iris. Hi, thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here. Well, I do love I do love working with you and seeing all the creativity that you have and the great projects that you come up with and the yarns that you create are just gorgeous. Yeah, it's all about the yarn. <laughs> the feel. It's just about the feel. I mean, it's heaven. So yeah, it is, it is. You know, like we people call it, you know, the the squishy the squishy packages yeah. when they arrive. It's just that kind of yarn that just makes you feel so, so good. And I know that there are so many other yarns that you offer besides the Merino Cloud and the- um, the, beaded silken. Um, the beaded silken sequence. And Paul says everything has to have beaded silken sequence. Nothing oh, like of course. it. Of course. <laughs> the other way. I'm trying to find a way to put it into the into the new uh, the new. Um, yes, I guess I, we could. Yes, we I'm could. Sure I we could put it in anything one. we want, couldn't we? <laughs> I but, didn't. I didn't do it in this one, but uh, definitely you can add it at the end. And I've seen a few people have ordered the beaded silken sequins in the splash color. Oh, it's insane. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'm telling you. It's, it's, it just has to be gorgeous. So tell us about the inspiration for this shawl. I mean, I, I know I, I see you sitting in a boat every now and then when you're, when you're. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't know that. if you notice it matches my kayak. Exactly. <laughs> ah, now we know I you actually, got the color. I actually, um, I actually, this is, this coral is a color I wear really frequently. I love this color so much. And I wanted to pair it up with a, a, an ombre, but I felt like it needed a splash of the coral in order to really like pop it. So, so look at that splash and how it knits up. It's so subtle. I mean, I love really, it. I get that little, just a little poof of color in there. Yeah, yeah. So the color you're holding is an ombre that goes light to dark in big, big repeats. But at the same time, you have little, little teeny splashes of color, which are very, very unusual and unpredictable. I mean, I haven't really seen other uh, dyeing like that, but I love the way it coordinates with colors. And um, if, you, if, if you look at some of the other swatches I brought, you'll see some other combos that- so Why don't you show us some of those? Okay, so- for those people who really love uh, the grays, this is a very pretty 
um, I'm looking here. gray with neon in it as splashes. And look at how it knits up. I just had to try it. And I'm um, trying so hard to decide. If, you, if you're a skier or you do stuff at night, any activities, you know, this yarn, this color pops like crazy. It's, it's not really reflective, is it? I I think it is actually. <laughs> the, the neon is. And oh, it's really, really cool. Look at, look at how, even though. I mean, it's really elegant, and I love the way it looks against the gray. It just kind of tones it down a bit and makes yeah. it really sophisticated. I love this one. So yeah. that's a beautiful pairing. Um, they're exact matches. You know, this is exactly the color that's used in the splash. Right. Yeah. Um, and then we also, I swatched this colorway, which is also really, really pretty. This is yeah. the purple. Once again, I used a neon purple and a very subtle um, kind of gold, pale gold yeah. color. Yeah. And you could see the splashes in um, the gold and how they knit up. Again, really, really small part, repeats of it. Very, very subtle. I do love this gold. Um, it's kind of a tonal. As yes, a, they're know. all, well, they're all ombres, which means okay. they go light to dark in a gradual way. So there's long repeats of color in the ombre, but then the little teeny splashes will show up. And the splashes. This one, then, so the gold is your main color and the, yeah. the purple. Is and the, the purple color. is my second shade. Yeah. Got it. Got it. And then I also have it in the purple. The purple and green. I have that one too. <laughs> oh, yes. yes. This is drama. <laughs> yes, it definitely is. Definitely Look at is. This. Okay. So the neon, you could see it. You could see the splashes in the purple. And the purple, this is actually the darkest part of the purple. But look at how, if you show the shading, it goes much lighter. Oh, yeah. There. I, I happen to start on the darkest part, but when you go to the end of it, you'll get much, much lighter. And you could see a little of a paler section here uh -huh. start to form, you know. So it's this is as dramatic as it's going to get, and it'll get more subtle as you keep uh -huh. going. And then I have, and this one, if you love subtle shading, this one is extremely subtle and very elegant. Yes, yeah, very, very pretty. You could just see the shading in it. Yeah. And you still, if you show the splash part, it still does uh, show up in the pink, as you could see. I can't. I and don't the, and, you know, the, the, the red, the red ombre has the pink splash. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, right through the there. Right. Yeah, yeah. As you could see, it's hard to show it. I'm not sure if it's showing up here. In my swatch, I see it like there's one right here. I don't know. Well, you know your colors too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it's showing up in my knitting. It's just not so easy because it's so, so subtle. But when you knit with it, you'll see it. It's a lot of fun. And once again, I started with a darker part of the red. It's going to get lighter. So those are some samples. And then I have I this have. other one here. I don't think you have the sample made on that. Oh, one. but but I have a shawl that I made okay. only with a with a with a navy and okay. uh, splash, which is color two two six seven. And um, hang on, let me just. Sorry, I'm gonna stay still. I promise. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay we're gonna show this, and then we have a bunch of comments to catch up on. Oh, okay. All so right. That has the green splash in it. Yes. This is just a one skein, one color project, which anybody who buys a skein of splash from Paulette can get this pattern. It's called the Ombre Triangle, and it has a very easy lace pattern. And so you could see the ombre part. It ends with the dark blue. It starts light, but throughout, you get those little flecks of color in it. It's right. like little rays of sunshine. Super. So um, yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> okay, so let's let's pick up on some of those comments. Paul's been 
He's been chomping at the bit to get to them here. <laughs> All righty. We've got Lila Foster says hello. And Gloria Hamothies, hello, everyone. Hi. Anna Maria Milani, good evening, everyone. And Kathleen Bray, hi there. Helen Solenberger, happy Monday from Buffalo. <laughs> Hope all my gritty groupies are doing well, as well as Paulette and Paul and Iris. Lila Foster says, hey, you're on time. And Gina Bates says, hi. Nancy McClellan Ball says, hello. And Leslie Wells Flaherty, hi, folks. Glory Hamilton shared. Mary Brinkman, hello. Greta Jane, hi, guys. And Greta Jane says, so I'm not missing this one. My absolute favorite yarn. Oh, yeah. We have, oh, a, we have a super fan hey. on with us today. Super fan. <laughs> super, super duper hashtag. Super fan hashtag. She loves art yarns. <laughs> she does. Thank you. Thank you. Anna, Milani, Mil Anna Maria Milani, the colors are even better in person. And Mary uh, Smith, what are these beautiful yarns made of? Oh, so these beautiful yarns. Mm -hmm. so, Iris, why don't you tell them the fiber content on these? Okay, so Merino Cloud is 80% Merino and 20% cashmere. And some of you may have experienced Art Yarns Cashmere, which is probably the softest cashmere ever in the world. It's so I've not soft. I tried that one yet. So the <laughs> same, I know. So the same <laughs> mill that makes that cashmere for us makes this space and uh -huh. so it's people think that it's because it's so soft the merino cloud people think it's entirely cashmere because it's so so soft but it's not it's 80 merino so it's it is an everyday yarn um it just is a fingering 436 yards in a skein it's really easy to use in a variety of patterns it sure and is. Um, it's addictive so be careful <laughs> Well, you know, we we have worked up uh, lots of projects besides the ones that you have shared with us for trunk shows and um, and projects that our fans have knitted. We've got a few things. Like one of our favorites here is this is the Bojagi shawl. Paul, if you can show this one. And, Ooh. <laughs> and didn't they do That's a beautiful job right. on that? Yeah. So oh my we God. love when we create here. We find that putting the silken sequins in in the garter stitch sections really pops. Oh my and goodness, it really, really does. And you know, it's a beautiful finish to a shawl in that garter stitch, it never yeah. curls. It'll be an, oh, that, and you know, the beads add a little weight to the bottom. It's yeah. really- Yeah, perfect. this is real, we love this one. It's you know, a stunner. We did the straight on the bias one here that we have. Oh, you did, okay. Oh, this one is here. Oh, I love it. Yeah, we did oh, lots of love different, lots I of love different. your colors. That's oh, stunning. I and I love this little pattern piece in here. Yes, yes. It, it looks like a so little good. Floor, it's like a little floor de lis and these little dots at the bottom. This one really kept your interest. Yes, yes. And so I, I like to do that with knit alongs is, you know, teach skills that are a little different and that maybe, uh, you know, it's in a fun way with a lot of people knitting at the same time. And that's the whole idea of the knit along that I'm working on now. This is this is the pattern. And so it's a little bit of everything here, um, but it, and it always enough to keep you interested. So there's a slip stitch section. Um, there is the short row section and i exclusively use german short rows which i'm happy to teach you um and i do and i can uh show you some of those tonight they're really easy and and you kind of when you do them there's no wrapping you don't have to worry about which way do i wrap my yarn and all that it's just very very simple and and you know you'll get the hang of it and say what? That's the easiest thing I ever saw. <laughs> you know? well, we're gonna go, it, we're gonna, it has a beautiful we're gonna get, effect. We're going to take a few more comments and then we're going to, I am going to ask you to demo that, that for okay. us. Thank you. All right. Valerie Vestal Ryan King, beautiful yarn. And Gwen Lemoyne says, hello, all. Kitsy Demery, hi, all from Kitsy. And Gwen Lemoyne says, yes, yummiest yarn ever. And Pamela <laughs> Rose Atkin says, love art yarns. And Greta Jane. <laughs> Art Yarn's cashmere is absolutely delicious. Oh, yes, so Merino you know. Cloud is addictive. I have so much of it. I even have some, and in parentheses, six hanks. 
<laughs> of Judith Rudnick's Kane's Color. Oh, I wonder which one that is because Judith <laughs> did a few colors. Yeah, yeah. So, Iris, why don't you? Uh, I, I was able to convince Iris to demo uh, how she does the how the German short rows work. So, Iris, if you want to turn your camera onto your hands, okay. and if we get a little streaming issue, folks, just be be patient. We're going to do our best. Okay, so let me do it right now. Okay. Oh. Iris, you, you are a charm, honey. <laughs> you have taken this technology under your wing like nobody's business. <laughs> okay, go for it. Okay, thanks for teaching me how to do this. Okay, so, <laughs> okay, so folks, this is basically um, the. I thought I had reset. Let me just get into my reset mode. I'm sorry, guys. That's okay. okay. Yeah, because I was showing uh, Paulette how I did this, but um, it's actually, I'm just going to get into this part where I um, turned. So one second. Okay. Oh, All right, you guys. You want to be a little more under the camera, Iris. Oh, I know. Okay. Am I in a good position now? Okay. So... Um, I'm going to show you what turning is. So I just knit a few stitches and I teach you in the pattern exactly how many st stitches you need to go to. And then I say turn in the pattern. So what turn means, it's really an easy term. It just means you make your right needle, your left needle and your left needle, your right needle. Okay. So you're literally turning. And because my yarn was in the back, now my yarn is in the front, which is where I want it to be. Because when I do a German short row, which is what you're gonna use for this entire pattern for the short row section, I wanna take my first stitch and instead of having one loop come out of it, I wanna have two loops. So I take the yarn from the front to the back. And do you see how I have two loops coming out of the one stitch? Yep. All the other stitches are just one loop. Okay, so I'm gonna take it to the back and then I'm gonna slip those two loops. It's one stitch, but it's a stitch that has two loops as part of it. And then I'm gonna knit very carefully to the end. And when I come back around, and I'm not gonna knit all the way to the end because I wanna show you this. Now, I'm gonna turn again just to show you what I do when I come back. So we're just gonna pretend you came to the we're end. We're gonna pretend I, I'm at the end here. So I'm just gonna knit my first stitch the way I normally would. And then I knit my second stitch, my third stitch, my fourth stitch, my fifth stitch. Those are normal stitches. Now I get to the German short row stitch, the one that has two loops coming out of it. Does everyone see that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I take my needle and I insert it into both loops and I knit them together. It, it's just like it's, I treat it just like one stitch and I call that knit German short row. Okay. And do we have time for me to show it again? I'm just going to turn. Please. I'm yep. knit one more, and then I'm going to turn again. And turning just means making your right needle your left and your left needle your right. And my yarn is in the front again, just where I want it to be. And I bring it to the back, making sure I'm, I'm slipping it with both legs showing. Greta okay. Jane says she always uses German short rows and Pamela Rose Atkins says, I like German short rows too. <laughs> you know what? I learned that it's so much easier and you never have to wrap and you never have to worry about in which direction you have to wrap. You're basically always um, able to work them to get with when, as, as long as you knit the two legs of the stitch together. Look how nice the short rows are. There's never any weird loops or open spaces when you turn. It looks very natural. And as a matter of fact, once I started using these, I thought, I never want to use anything else again. 
<laughs> that's, that's what I've heard about German short rows. Yeah, so it makes for really interesting and unusual knitting. And that's what I use in this shawl. And, um, you know, there are many, many tutorials and I actually reference uh, some videos in the pattern too. So it's, a, it's actually one of the easiest things for you to practice and learn in this pattern. It's a great learning opportunity. Um, cool. the, the other, I, I use a couple of other techniques in this pattern. I use the slipping here in order to create this really pretty like ridge um, mm -hmm. that's setting off the leaves. And uh, you could see it in the pattern itself here, okay? And then I also um, do an interesting edging. And the edging I've actually, I encourage you, I put on YouTube. So um, it, it's just a way for you to knit on the bias. And I'm gonna flip the camera. Okay. Okay. So the edge is a way for you. <laughs> it's a way for you to increase in the first uh, stitch of every row um, with with carrying up the unworked color uh -huh. and doing it very video. neatly. Yep. Yeah, it's a good way to do it, and um, it keeps everything nice and neat. And you never forget to carry up the unworked yarn. I absolutely did not want you guys to have to, um, let me just go back here. You, I absolutely did not want you guys to have to worry about those loops that form on the edging when you carry up yarn or have to cut every time you're switching color. That would be awful. Right. No, that was a great idea. That was a yeah. great idea. So thank you. Does anybody, you know, we're gonna, I'm gonna um, flip and ask if anybody has any questions in while they're putting their questions in the chat box. Um, I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit about the, um, the mohair. Oh, sure. Okay. So uh, yeah, your, your mohair yarns are newer. <laughs> Am I correct? You haven't had them. Uh, yes, they're new. And I'm actually knitting with it right now, but my project is, is I would have to move to, to show you what I'm knitting. If you allow me at the end, I'll move. <laughs> you can I know move I if you want. You can move if you want. But, we'll but I do have one piece right here that uh, I love to wear this. This is like an, a great piece in the summer for air conditioning. <laughs> this is what, so. We had this at our retreat. And it was so popular. Everybody loved it because it was sitting up against, it was sitting in a window that was overlooking the ocean. And it was oh, like this, right. this kind of blended beautiful. right into the, to, into the backdrop. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> I know this one really reminds me of the ocean. I don't know. Do you have this color? It's such a pretty color. I don't know that I have that color, but I'm sure I, I know. you can get it. We actually do ombres in the mohair two ply. And this, it's such a cozy, cozy sweater. And it's um, a great layering piece. So I'm wearing, I don't know if you could tell. I, you it's know, the so cameras, funny. I do the same thing. The camera is reverse. And I'm always like <laughs> fixing the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> so let me see. Can I stand up for a second? Please go ahead. Go ahead. You can. <laughs> So I'm wearing, okay, let me try to get in the, in the camera. Okay. So I'm wearing a sundress. Okay, I, okay, you're doing this. <laughs> I, everything's reversed, like my left and my right. Is going differently. <laughs> but anyway, I'm wearing a dress and it's sleeveless. And when I wear air conditioning, this is like the perfect, perfect layering piece for me. Really cozy. Yeah. And, um, you just you just never want to take this stuff off. So this is the mohair ombre, <laughs> yeah, and that's the two ply. And then so the one the one ply works works more for shawls. How do you? Yes, do you oh, and in that piece, I have a beautiful. Um, I don't know if you if you saw the tube scarf. I wear it over my head. Yeah, that's a great one ply piece. I really, really popular. You basically cast on 80 stitches and you just knit in the rounds. <laughs> yep. And so and the, the two ply is more for sweaters. 
Yes, I actually have a pattern book of sweaters. And if you look at the Mohair Ombre two ply label, it has the code, oh, it has the actual URL and the codes to zero out the pattern cost. Cause I think I have five patterns, four sweaters and one big shawl. And all are one skeins. All, right. This is one skein. How nice is that, right? <laughs> so you just, from beginning to end, you don't have any anything to cut. And it's really fun to work with this yarn. It's really, really pretty, really soft. And, um, you know, light as a feather. So there's, it's just so versatile. I mean, look at the whole thing. Yeah, and it's so much fun it. to see the colors and how they knit. Look at this. It actually does look like water. It does. It's like the ocean. It's so pretty. Right. I know. <laughs> so are you, can I get up for a second? I'll show you what I'm knitting right now in Mohair. Yes. Yep. Yep. And then we'll, sh and then we'll show that when, then we'll get our questions from our, from our. Okay. Group. Great. Hold on one second. Gwen Lemoyne says gorgeous sweater. Love Mohair. It's beautiful. I'd love some mohair also. Yeah, you'd love hair. <laughs> Maybe you can take some off your beard and put it on your head. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys know this is Pride Month. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, look at this color. Look at you. I have never seen. The, I am so enamored. Do you know how you get like a love? <laughs> so I. This is this is a color where um, it's going to change. I was actually knitting it by the fire. <laughs> look at wow! Look how beautiful. And but look how it's going to change. It's like a change is going to come, right? Look at this. Yep. So the colors are so intense in mohair. I just thought you should see like um, more jewel. These are rainbow colors. So right, really, right. Really no, cool. that's great. That's so, beautiful. I just They're wanted you to see, speaking of mohair, do you have any skeins there? I do. I, I do oh, have so. <laughs> so what, I, well, I have one that we can't show anybody yet. Oh yeah, we can't show, but we'll hopefully do another event to show that off. <laughs> So I've got, well, I just started getting the mohair and I thought I had another color too. I have. Oh, do you have the rainbow? I have oh, the rainbow. Oh, the yarn store color. Oh, that's and it, gorgeous. In fact, I think the I'm going to do the Sonoma Dream sweater. The Sonoma oh, Sonoma yeah. Sweater. That's, that would be amazing on you because that's your color. I could tell. Yeah. yeah. Right there, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and speaking of this color, this is a not oh. the that's Darren rainbow. Says, I need that pride mohair. I bet you, oh, you know what? Yeah. Plastic, I, I love rainbow mountain. This is my rainbow <laughs> mountain top. I promised you I would bring it. Yes. Mm. And Anna Maria <laughs> just finished, uh, one of our fans just finished knitting up the um, the triangular shawl with the little pom poms on the end. Oh, that was beautiful. Oh, it must be wow. beautiful. Yeah, she did that. This is one of my favorite tops, and it's such an easy, easy pattern because the design is just slips. So you know what slipping is? Yep. You just basically move the the stitch what? without knitting it <laughs> from one needle to the other. Okay, so so again, I'm doing this. Okay, hold on. <laughs> So I have a question while you're while you're adjusting your sweater and trying to figure out which is your left and your right. Are the um the pride colors, is that mohair gonna be available? It is yes, uh starting in August. In August. Okay. All yeah. right, Darren, you got that? You're gonna reserve your I hope there? to be done. I hope to be done with the design by then. Okay, good. <laughs> it's good. gonna be a bias. I wanna just do a beautiful bias sweater that you know is one skein and um easy to knit oh also darren while 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 we're talking about your name here you had you were going to create a shawl you bought silken sequins and something else and i'm wondering if if that ever happened and if or if it's still like in the i'm going to get started on this really soon pile so <laughs> let us know look how pretty your sweater looks iris it's gorgeous oh i love this sweater it's such a and great is that piece. another one skein it uses two because I have two colors. Yeah. So it's rainbow mountain plus the contrast. 
Right. Which That's we right. offered. Yeah. So it's two skeins and it's oversized. I'll just show it to you. Eric Carabello says that is gorgeous. Yeah, I love this piece. So Katie Francis says beautiful. You know, I was wondering about the project that you're wearing, the sweater that you're wearing now, the two skein project. You know, I think about the shawls and stuff, and most of the shawls are two skein projects. So it's really economically it's costing the same amount of money to create a sweater as it does for the shawl. Are you still there? Yeah, you're breaking up a little bit. Oh, can you hear me now? Uh, yeah, uh, yes, but you froze, so I don't know. Oh, oh I am frozen. I'm looking at the screen. Uh, could have been, could have been you moved there. I don't know. I'm moving up right here. But I was saying, I was saying that the majority of shawls that we make today take two skates. Yeah. And we're looking at, you know, we're looking at a sweater using the same amount of yarn that you would use for a shawl. Oh, you could do the sweater using the splash. Can you imagine? Uh. <laughs> yes. All right, Paul, will you? Eric Carabello says, what is the pattern? Which pattern that she's wearing now? What's that one called? It's called the Rainbow Mountain Top. Rainbow Mountain Top. And we may have that on our website. It's on Ravelry. It's not, uh, yeah. The kit could be on our website, so you might have to check it out. Well, the one says, I have the yarn for that sweater. I need to get started on it. Brand says, the sweater a sunset of colors. And Jared Chow says, I have not started the silk and sequins yet. Also, reserve me a couple of that rainbow mohair. You got it. <laughs> Andrea Whitmore says, Paulette is frozen. Isabella <laughs> says, yes, you are frozen. Okay, we can go. In this part of the room, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Is frozen, so we can move to another part of the room. That would be this spot that we were in. So let's see, we're moving. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to, okay. you know. Should I try switching to my phone as my personal hotspot? I'm not sure, because you're frozen. I hold on a moment. Can I type in the comments below? Hold on. Yeah. Excuse me. I don't know how to do this, so let me just. Okay, so okay, uh, we've got a streaming issue. Can you hear the audio though? Okay, Iris sounds fine. Okay, so, I'm still frozen. All right, so I'm going to get out of the studio. Are you, are you back?
screen. Oh, yeah, you crack. <laughs> Are we back? Oh, yeah. We can't see you, but you can see us. Um, you can't see me. I can't see you, but I can hear you. The good news is it's 8.35. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Hey, it's not. You know, we, we don't know where it's coming from. Don't worry about it happens, Iris. Yeah, I know. Oh, I see you. <laughs> oh, good. I... That's good. I wonder if everybody see else can screen. see me. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, you're back. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> and I'm still frozen, but that's okay. So look at me like I'm like I'm frozen, and uh, we'll be fine. You know what? What do we have any questions there, Paul, from the group? Oh, she, Leslie Wells-Flaherty says there are connection issues going on nationwide right now oh you know what it could be the heat oh you know they, yeah. you know, they do these little these little slow downs of service just to keep everybody from having power outages maybe that's the deal oh that's possible and it says we see you but the video is lagging yep and ray Redmore is still frozen john johnson yes and phyllis uh, Deedle Smibby says, no, can't hear you. Well, you can hear us now, I think. The sound is good, but not the picture. We can hear you again, at least. Okay, Please well, that's good. That's good, because we're at the part of our show where everybody loves uh, to get prizes. And so we're going to pull a name from our sharing bucket and see who our winner is tonight. So let me just do that. We got... These are all the people who share Nitty Gritty Arm Girl. And we pull a name every week on our show to see who our prize winner is. And today's winner is. And today's winner is stuck together. There we go. Well, well we look at that. Mr. Darren Showers. Oh. It's Darren. Yay. No, Darren, it's not mohair. You're not winning mohair. Anna <laughs> Bumper <laughs> says, does the winner get our darn? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably not, but I'll, give them, I'll make it something really special. <laughs> John Johnson says, what was the name of the one skin gray and turquoise sweater? Oh, the, oh, that's called Sonoma. Sonoma. Um, what which is Sonoma, yeah, this one, right? Sonoma Dreams, Sonoma yeah, Dreams, right? Sonoma Dreams, Sonoma yeah, Dreams. it's one of the five yeah. that comes with the one skein purchase, so right, yeah. right, yep, yeah. super. So, if there, if uh, Darren Shower says, Yay, Kelly Goldhaber says, Whoa, and Leslie Rush Flair says, Congrats, Darren, nice work, Darren. Um, uh, so if you if you saw something tonight that's not on our website, as I mentioned, we're we're getting more mohair in as time goes on. So if there's a color or if you'd like to take a look through the shop and see what we have available, we can't show you everything through the show. So we are more than happy to uh, to FaceTime with you, and we can get anything that's available from uh, from Art Yarns. We can get here at Nitty Gritty Yarn Girl. So yeah. Iris, thank you so much for being oh, with thank us. thank you. <laughs> and, and we will, we're going to plan another show because we've got enough, we have new color coming out next month. Yes. And um, I have the mohair for that one too. <laughs> So it is, it is to I, I've heard people say that's one of the prettiest colors out there. So be on the lookout. Oh my God. It's well, you've so been gorgeous. Very creative this year with the colors. They are very, very, um, they're just very vibrant. Really, yes. very nice. That's a good word for yeah. it. Very vibrant. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, we will so. see you soon. I'm sure you and I will be chatting tomorrow. Thank you, Excellent. everybody, for joining us. We will see you next week. Hold on, Paul's got something else to say. There are questions, so we'll respond to those in the thread. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Are there questions? I have some questions for me. It says, Kathy versus, can you share the name of the mohair sweater pattern that Iris had tried on earlier? Couldn't hear the name as the feed was cutting out. No problem. Look at that on the screen afterward. Yeah. 
Yep. Um, Super. So I'm going to take care of all that. And um, Iris, we will be chatting. Thank you, everybody. We've got another trunk for coming up next week. we got some goodies for the second half of our summer sports trunk show. So we'll see you here next month. And please stay, stay tuned. You never know when there's another unboxing. Have a great evening, everyone. Okay. Take care.